Yep, no surprises to the comps here. I mean, they're playing what they know is the best. And, uh, you know, Talbot are not opting to play on that Shadow Priest. Obviously, it'd be a bad idea versus a cleave like this. Let's see what he can do on this Elemental Shaman. The floor is open, All right. and they are entering this large chamber, which seems to have a stone floor. It's fascinating. Interesting choice of floor. It's an easy floor to clean, stone floor. It absolutely is, and all the blood that's going to be spilled this weekend, uh, that's a very important feat. I'm seeing a lot of fire. I'm seeing a lot of running around. Uh, looks like they're mixing it up very quickly. They're trying to put a lot of damage on a Channel, the Warlock here. He's, he's the cloth target on that team, so the Warrior and the Hunter are going to put a lot of pressure. But as you can see, Night Train and, and Shunsha, they're dipping fairly low right now to the spread pressure of this uh, Lock Shaman Druid. Yes, they are losing uh, their Gorgon juice very quickly, and we might be seeing them headed into Shan... Shea territory momentarily. And you can see uh, th those are all the cooldowns right there from the Warrior. That was a Recklessness Avatar, Bladestorm, everything. He's dipping low. It looks like they're trying to reverse some pressure back onto him. We do see the bubble out of Prank Cat, so he's not going to have that later. Uh, they're trying to connect onto Channimals, but the LSD is doing well by you know, using their ports, using their gateways, their cooldowns to avoid as much damage as possible. Well, ports and gateways, of course, important, but you've got to make sure that these Paladins are, um, are loaded up high on their uh, various... Quotients. Absolutely. And I, you just agreed to something that made no sense. <laughs> Incredible, and yet you're a professional. Uh, here we go. How are we doing? Gentlemen, what's your take on this? This so, is really surprising. One of the things I'm noting out of Shinsha right now is he's choosing to play in battle stance, which yes. means he's not going to be as tanky. We saw the defensive stance come out, but it's normally when he's below half health instead of preempting the damage. Yes, and if he'd eaten properly, maybe he'd be at full health, but he chose a high caloric diet. And, oh, uh, that train is just going to get dipped Incredible. Right Did you just see what happened? Did Huge you see what happened? The they tried to do the scatter trap on DeSoto. It was grounded by Talbadar. Incredible and uh, unbelievable. I heard the crowd react. I didn't know what happened, but I acted as if I had. So we see uh, someone's down with a banner. Anything you'd like to say? Well, uh, it was an exciting match. We saw the amount of damage that can come.